This is UI Press Lite version 3, well, 3.0.1. Uh, we just put out an update today. The thing about the plugin has changed with version 3, so I wanted to take some time and uh, kind of run down what it's all about, um, all the new features, and uh, kind of give you an idea of just how powerful this can really be. But UI Press 3 is, uh, you can think of it as, um, it's like a page builder, but for the back end for your admin. So once activated, we're going to go ahead to UI Builder, and there's a hot link right here. Um, it also lives under Settings and UI Builder right here. And we're going to get a list of our templates. Uh, these are the ones I've already made. Just for the purpose of this, to get going, we're going to just go ahead and create a new one. And we're going to get this builder here. You can see straight away, very different to UI Press version 2. Um, but this is a fully fledged page builder, but for the back end of WordPress, creating uh, UI templates, admin pages, everything. So we've got all our blocks over here that can be pulled in. So we've got patterns as well. Uh, if you use Gutenberg, you'll be familiar with um, the idea of them. They're essentially pre-made templates. Uh, we don't have any saved right now. I'll talk about that more in a minute. And we've got the template settings, uh, template name. This will be a bit familiar from UI Press 2, and like who it applies to, who it doesn't apply to. And yeah, so this might all seem kind of overwhelming if you're just used to installing the theme and maybe customizing the um, customizing the styles. Um, but it's really quite simple once you get going. Uh, so let's just jump straight in and create the most basic of admin templates. Um, for that, what are we going to need? We're going to need an admin menu um, and a page content. Those two live down here. And we're going to pair those up with probably the most useful um, block in UI Press 3, which is a container. Let's just drag that in. Now, this doesn't look like much, but we can either hover here and click on settings. Or we can go here in the layers panel. This defaults is off, which would be like that. But um, here we go. It saves as a user preference. It's always open. Um, and here are options for our container. Uh, so, all right, so let's set a width for this container. Let's go down here into the container option. Width 250 should be about right. And then this is the content area. So anything that's get, getting dropped into this container is gonna be in the content area. Um, every single block has a container. Uh, I can see that could be a little bit confusing as this block is a container, um, but that will make more sense as we go along. Uh, so this is the content area. Let's give it a width of 100% so it just follows uh, the uh, content container. And let's give it some padding. So we'll go medium here and uh, let's maybe go large. And uh, now let's drag in the menu. I'm going to scroll down here, got the admin menu block, drag it in here. Let's just zoom in a little bit. All right, so now we've got an admin menu just like that. Let's click on this. So the admin menu is really quite powerful. Um, it's got a lot of different options. Every single block will have a tooltip option like this um, and also the responsive options here. And with the admin menu, we can have dynamic, uh, which just to show you real quick is that. So it's going to load the sub menu um, dynamically. You can go back like that. You can also do hover, which people will be familiar with. Um, you're going to have your hover menus there. Or if you want a more classic uh, menu from UI Press 2, then we have the drop down menu there. But let's stick with dynamic right now. Um, let's 
let's give this container, instead of setting a width, um, we can just make it grow, give it a stretch direction, which will grow um, the actual content of the block itself. So now that is the same width as the container. Um, we can also have a quick preview of that without any of this. And here we go. All right, so we've got our menu basic functionality. Um, there's obviously so many different settings we can change here and customize, um, but we won't go into them in this video. Right, what do we need next? We need the page content. Right, so let's drag in another container. Let's give this width to grow. And then let's do the same for its content. So now we have the whole frame here automat automatically sized um, to fit the screen. And let's put each content block in there. We have it, so we've got the dashboard here. This is the default page. Let's give this some styles. Let's make its container grow. And let's give it a width of 100%. And there we have it. So just like that, we've now got a functioning admin page. Um, it's very basic, but you can do everything you need to do. You can see everything loads super quick. Page content has some pretty cool options. Um, once again, you've got tooltip. You wouldn't want a tooltip for this, but um, responsive options. You can also hide um, screen options tabs, which are here, the help tab. These will refresh when the page loads. So now they're gone. The other option as well, if you want the default um, WordPress theme, the problem is just disable that. And we're gonna frame it still, but everything is now as the, word, the original WordPress admin is, but we've still synced up with this modern menu. Now, we've got our template, very basic. Um, let's say we want to apply this um, to ourselves and start using it as our main admin. So we'll go to the builder settings. Let's give it a name as my first UI template. <clears throat> uh, yep, it's UI. Set it to active. And let's put my user on it. Now this is going to jump up straight away. Uh, nothing to worry about. It's kind of just um, a reminder, just in case you were making a more limited uh, admin, then uh, this just make sure you're aware that it's going to apply to your current role so you don't lock yourself out of any features or anything like that. Um, so we're happy here. Let's save that template and let's just go to a post. And there we have it. Now we have the admin page that we made in the builder and that is now our main main admin theme so we'll go back to the builder here let's disable this refresh the page and we're back to the default admin so there's loads of features in UI Press 3, way too many to go over in this one little overview video, um, but a few things I did want to show you. Uh, the first thing being is the theme styles or variables. Here we've got all the colors that run through the theme. Uh, you can change to whatever you want. You'll see it update in here. You can clear that out. Um, you can also set different ones for dark mode uh, or create your own variables. And these are all pop up pretty much anywhere you can apply color. So if we wanted to give a background color to this toolbar over here, so content area, background color, here we have it. And these will automatically update in dark mode, light mode. The next thing I wanted to show you would be patterns. Um, patterns are really cool because you can save out any components, any 
combination of blocks you put together in any style, save it out as a pattern and reuse it in any template. So let's say we were super happy with this admin menu pattern here. This button will open up the save options, give it a title, um, give it an icon if you want. We don't need to worry about description. Let's save it as a layout. Save that pattern. So now we have this reusable pattern. We can drop in anywhere we want and we're going to get the same layout as that. Um, and then the really powerful thing about these patterns is say I made changes to one of them in one of the templates and wanted to update that across all of my UI templates. Uh, we have this sync option here. Um, which will push any changes to this pattern throughout all of your templates, all of your admin pages, everything. So on a very basic level, if you had, say, your site logo saved as a pattern and that logo changed, instead of having to update it across however many pages, templates you have, you just update it in one place and it would sync across all of them. Um, I can show pretty quick example of that. Let's get rid of this. All right, so let's go back to the list, create a new template, patterns, and throw that in there. So we've got the same settings as before, but I don't like the background color. So let's give it something different. Let's go purple. Yep. So I want to update this in all my templates. I just come over here, press the sync button, sync the pattern, save the template. Let's go back. This is the template we were creating earlier. And here's the changes um, that have been applied. So the next thing I wanted to cover would be the template library. You can open that uh, just with this icon here. And it's going to open uh, the current templates, we only have four right now, but we're adding new ones every day. Uh, we've got an admin page template and the rest of layouts. Um, this not only is great for just getting started really quick, but also for inspiration. Scroll through the images, read a description, uh, but let's just add this to our library, place the current layout. And here we have it. So we've got, <laughs> something that probably looks a lot more f familiar to you um, than what we've been showing you so far. Uh, this is a more fully built theme. We've got a dark mode. I've got a logout button down here. Search the site. And we can have a quick view of the user options. And yeah, that should look a bit more like UI press 2, kind of familiar. We also have an admin page um, in this library here. So let's go ahead and import that and see what that's all about. So this is more of a admin page layout. We've got a table block. Um, let's come out of preview. This heading here is using dynamic data, which is a super powerful feature of UiPress. So we've got a heading text, but the name is getting pulled uh, dynamically, so that would change depending on the user view in it. That's super easy to set. You can just click anywhere where you see this database icon and you can change it to anything you want. You can change it to your initials, uh, the current date if you wanted, um, some WordPress specific stuff there. But let's put it back to the first name. These work without templates or anything like that. You don't have to be using an admin theme. These will just plug straight into default WordPress and to apply them is very much the same as UI templates. So we just set it as active. Let's give this a name as my first admin page. Uh, whatever you name this is gonna show up in the admin menu. Um, so maybe let's give it something better than this. When we set this to an admin page, we're going to get two new options, uh, which is the menu icon, icon, do that. And you can also add it to any of the sub menus that you have if you want. 
Um, but let's save that out. And now if we just refresh the page, we've got our welcome page right here. And that's our admin page. All right, so the last thing I wanna share is just um, some of the general features of the builder. Um, we do have a full history system. Uh, you can go back and make any mistakes and you can just undo that. Uh, you've got your undo and redo buttons there. Um, we have the zoom. Um, we have the import export options right here. Uh, we've got the responsive. We have uh, the integrated help. Uh, this is gonna bring up our docs and any guides. Uh, we're still working on some of the tutorials, but the developer documentation is pretty solid. Pretty much everything is covered so far. And the last thing I'll show you is just the advanced settings of the builder the custom CSS, custom JavaScript, and it's worth noting that you can also add that to any block on its own, as well as custom classes. So that, yeah, so that's gonna about do it for this video. Um, I hope that you a good idea of what Press3 can do. Um, and uh, yeah, so that about yeah, so that's gonna do it. Um, yeah, so that should do it for this uh, brief overview of the builder. Um, this gives you a good idea of what UI Press Three can do. Uh, we're really, really excited about getting this released. It's currently an open beta. You can try it from our website. Um, just go to the homepage, you'll see a banner for UI Press 3, follow that, and then there'll be an option to download it. Um, give us your feedback. Uh, we can't wait to hear what you think. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.